Hey guys, Justin from Modern Racing. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a new grid so that you can start your car. Okay guys, so the first thing you do is hook the USB cable to the grid and then hook it to your computer. Uh, open your, your program and you're going to see a screen that looks like this when you initially open it. The first thing we need to do is set the number of cylinders. Um, we work on mostly eight cylinder cars so everything's defaulted to eight. Uh, the next line that's very important and I talk about in another video is setting your crank trigger reference. So wherever your crank trigger is physically set on your engine is what you need to enter in this line. So we can set this to 40 degrees assuming that you're at 40 degrees uh, where your crank trigger is set. The next line, you really don't need to bother with that to start your engine. That's total amount of retard. Uh, we'll talk about that later in another video. Uh, number of gears. Just simply type in here if you have a three speed. Um, it's asking for forward gears. Don't include reverse, park, or neutral. Uh, so three speed. Ignition type. If you are using uh, MSD 7720 part number, it's a black ignition box to fire the coil, then you're going to select network ignition. If you're using any other type of ignition, you're going to select 6AL, 7AL, MSD. So we're using a network ignition, so we're going to select network. Your output signal, uh, crank input is what comes default. We'll talk about that in another video also. That will not affect anything on how the car starts. That's going to be the output signal to the tachometer. Spark output, you just make sure that's enabled. If that's disabled, uh, it'll do exactly what it sounds like. There'll be no spark in your vehicle will not start. So we'll make sure that that is enabled. Uh, next tab over that's important to initially starting your vehicle is going to be the ignition tab. This is where you're going to set the timing that you want the engine to run at. So main timing means your base timing. That's when you check it at idle and that's where you want the timing to be. So when you initially start the vehicle up, I want you to set this number to be exactly the same as the maximum timing reference number. This is going to ensure that there is no retard being applied to the timing when you first initially start your vehicle. The other timing tabs here, let's just click through these and make sure there should be, there should be nothing in them uh, because those are going to be retards and right now we do not want any retard uh, applied to the timing. Next tab over is going to be rev limiter. To initially start your vehicle, I would just briefly look over these numbers and make sure nothing looks out of sort. Burnout rev limiter, let's just make sure that's 7,000, launch 7,000. Basically, you want to make sure that these numbers are higher than where your idle speed is going to be for the initial startup. Uh, we'll talk about setting all these numbers, in, uh, setting these numbers in a future video. And that's it. Once your first two or three tabs are set based on the number of cylinders, the number of forward gears, the type of ignition that you have, and setting your crank reference, you're ready to start your vehicle. 